Fishing Kitty Fishing Ventures. I'm your host, Shane Patrick, and today we got a Honolulu adventure for you. If you don't know what a Honolulu is, it's a baby of coolie. They make great, great bait, and they're also really good eating. We'll be showing you what kind of shamps to use and what kind of lures we use. It's a great show, you gotta watch it. Mahalo! Summertime is a fun time for people to fish in Hawaii. For the offshore fishermen, it usually means they're getting ahi fever because the ahi are running offshore. But the reef fishermen also have their summer runs of fish too. Most know about the awama running, where huge schools of baby goldfish come in the shallows to feed. You see groups of people fishing for them. But the Halalu are also running around this time. Halalu is the Hawaiian name for baby akuli. You see them come into bays, harbors, channels in the summer. The schools are sometimes hard to find. But this year a huge school wanted to swim in the Ala Moana Beach Park. Right in the middle of town and stayed there for a few weeks. This school must have fed over thousands of people, from the fishermen to their families and friends. It seemed like the school was growing each week. The type of fishing we were doing made sure you practice social distancing. Because if people got too close to each other, they could end up hooking each other. The leaders that some people were using were seven to 10 feet, even 12 feet long. We saw two people get hooked, one in the ear and another in the hand. So make sure you have a lot of space between you and the people around you. We also saw a bunch of fishermen and fishing ladies wearing masks too. Here we are fishing early morning at Ala Moana Beach Park. There was already a bunch of people here. The school is huge. Some of the bait fishermen were catching a lot, but we were whipping tail strips. Oh, I got one. Okay, I'm saying. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she got him. Hallelujah. Me again, Hallelujah. We just got like ten inside there already. I'm good at this casting thing. I'm good at this casting thing. Like five years of practice paid off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
peel. Oh no, what is this? Oh, it's still fighting. We need some? This puppy will put up a pretty good fight. Oh, that was a, that was a big bugger. Here you can see how big part of the school was. I'm gonna catch these things over here. Oh, oh. Come on. Yeah, my got one. if you're standing in the water. This happens a lot when using a net. The hook gets stuck. Just take your time when trying to get it out. Oh, you see that, Akuli? His eyeball popped out. And I got something? I do. Oh, God. That's a sardine, right? Yeah. Get, get, get through this. Here they go. The people that were catching a lot of fish had super long leaders, sometimes twice the length of the pole they were using. The lead will scare the fish, so a longer leader is better. So when the lead goes through the school, it scatters the fish around. So if you use a shorter leader, you might not get as many bites. I was really my glitter strip in all different types of ways. Sometimes fast, sometimes slow. Just switch it up if you're not catching one way.
coming with my hands. Coming with my hands is going by. <laughs> I saw this going by. There's a bunch of rainbows this day. Him, I got one. Or did I just get someone else's line? Oh, I did get one. I hit the double one. I know the secret now. I know the secret. Want me to tell you what retrieve I caught it with? I caught it with a double. The double. Ding, ding. Trimmed it. <laughs> I am trimmed them. This color seems to be working pretty good. And also the firecracker one. That's a clear one with glitter in it. breaking the hook. A lot of the times the old timers are catching most of the fish. So make sure to watch what they're doing and try to learn from them. Some of them are catching on almost every cast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Not to tie the leader to the swivel, and we're using two pound test. I made the leader about nine feet long, and then tie your hook on with an improved clinch knot. Then pack up your gear and get back out fishing. Nobody around when you're doing this. You don't want to hook somebody accidentally. You want to try to throw the lead over the school and then work it through the school. He must have been running from the thing and I jerked and then I got him. Right there. She knew walked him right there more when when it's there. Close now. <laughs> yeah. See all those scratches is the one? I think that's I think that's a big for people walking them. Like almost 
20. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more clips and tips that didn't make the show. Poke up, poke up, on the on the <laughs> Mahalo for watching!